Ever wondered why a cluttered room can make you feel uneasy, anxious, or overwhelmed? Well, our surroundings have a profound impact on our mental state. Picture a room filled with clutter, piles of papers, overflowing closets, dishes in the sink. This chaos in our physical environment can lead to a cluttered mind, affecting our mood, stress levels, and productivity. It's like trying to find calm in the middle of a storm. Indeed, decluttering is not just about tidying up your space, it's also about tidying up your mind. So, how can you break free from the chaos of clutter? Let's journey through the art of decluttering. It starts with setting clear, achievable goals. What do you want your space to look like? How do you want to feel in it? Once you've got your vision, start sorting your items. Which ones serve you? Which ones don't? Be honest with yourself. Now comes organizing. Every item should have a home. It's not just about tidying, it's about order. Use practical organization tips, like storing similar items together or using storage solutions to maximize space. Then, we move on to the challenge of letting go. Remember, it's not about the quantity of items you own, but their quality in your life. But decluttering isn't just about your physical space, it's also about your mind. Incorporate mindfulness into your decluttering process. Be present, acknowledge your emotions, but don't let them control your decisions. Remember, decluttering is not a one-time event but a lifestyle. It's about making conscious decisions about what to keep in your life and what to let go of. Are you ready to experience the transformative power of decluttering? Let's delve into some real-life stories. Consider Jane, a businesswoman who struggled with anxiety. Decluttering not only provided her with a more organized workspace, but also significantly reduced her stress levels. Then there's Mark, a student who found that tidying his study area led to clearer thinking and improved focus. And this is not just about physical clutter. Mental clutter, such as worries and negative thought patterns, can also be cleared away. By decluttering, you're essentially making space for new positive thoughts and experiences. So how do you maintain this clutter-free space in mind? It's all about daily practices. Make it a habit to evaluate your spaces regularly. Ask yourself, does this item serve a purpose? Does it bring me joy? If not, perhaps it's time to let it go. With decluttering, you're not just creating a more organized space. You're also paving the way for a more focused, peaceful, and productive mind. So, are you ready to embark on your decluttering journey? Just remember, a cluttered space often mirrors a cluttered mind. By decluttering, you can reduce stress, boost productivity, and gain mental clarity. Identify your clutter, set your goals, and let go of the unnecessary. Be mindful in your approach, and don't forget to incorporate daily practices to maintain your progress. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content on self-improvement. Remember, a clutter-free space leads to a clutter-free mind. Start decluttering today.